Hi, I just wanted to show you a quick user form utility that uh, I built in Microsoft Access, which is a way of replacing the security features of Microsoft Access in previous versions. That's up until version 2003, which used the uh, the workgroup security and a workgroup file. And in the later versions, 2010 and 2010, the uh, it was dropped effectively, and uh, you had to deal with either SharePoint or use some sort of trusted location. In all cases, you were depending on external files and systems to access your database. Personally, I like to build security systems that are built within the Access database, so when distributed to other end users, then they can control their own user security level. And here I've built a custom tool that you can add to existing databases as forms, or you can build from scratch. And I just want to quickly demonstrate the utility that you could build yourself, or if you like the product you can just download it as part of the uh, ebook um, purchase and you, you can find it you can adapt it and the code is yours to do as you wish so let me just show you what it looks like um, you can run this uh, form here which is the login form which looks something like this and uh, here you have all your existing users these are the users that have been added to the system that are enabled and if I choose let's say JNS and as I click on JNS it's coded to pop to the password prompt and if I put an invalid password in there of course you'd expect that to be validated and off it would go. If then it would highlight it. If I then put the correct password in and then choose login, it takes me to a dedicated menu which is customized and points to that individual default startup screen. So this is sample menu 2 and these are just dummy screens but you can add your own forms to this by customizing the tool. I'm just going to click on the close which takes me out by logging the user out and I start again. Notice when I do cho choose Jane, notice the admin is not available because Jane is not actually an authorized user to administrate the system. If I want to get to an administrator, I have to find a user who is an administrator, type their password in, of course, and then if I just choose login for the moment, this is my sample menu, which is menu number one, which is different from Jane's, but again, you can have as many different forms for each di different users, really profiling down to how you want users to manage that database. Just going to come out of that again, go back as an administrator this time. So now when I go into the admin tool, there I can set up my profiles and access rights respectively. So here we've got three tabs, users, there's the individuals, notice John D is not enabled, which is why it didn't appear in the list. If I tick this option, then he will become a member of that drop down list when I log in again. More importantly, you can choose which form and you can see how many forms there are this will pre-populate all the forms of your database where you can just simply pick the form that they will default to when they successfully log in if you choose the default it will run with a default form which is set from the form parameter here and you can choose any form that can become the default so general users can use the default or you can be a bit more specific to an end user whether an administrator or not well that's simply a flagging option at the end here and of course you can change their password which is masked the form list is where you add the forms that you build, so perhaps the only bit of housekeeping you need to do is add all your names of forms in there, which must be the same name as all the forms in your navigation bar, or if you're working with an earlier version, the database window. As I click on close, it takes you back out to log in, and that's essentially can be plugged into any existing database, as well as um, building from scratch your own database. So this is a user login form which you can build, which is an ebook that I provide, and you'll find that uh, if you really want to download just the product, then it's for you to keep as well. Thank you very much.